Welcome to White Haired Gardener. Wanted to show you this. Ew, what is this? Actually, this sad thing is a root from one of my tomatoes. And these bulbous yuck bits on the root are caused by the root knot nematode. That is a horrible microscopic nematode with kind of a syringe beak. And what they do is they lance into the root climb inside, live there, feeding off the plant, laying their eggs inside there, and they secrete an enzyme that will effectively, slowly kill your plant. And I wonder why this one wasn't thriving, and that is why. Now, there are a couple ways that you can fix, well, to some extent, fix root knot nematodes without using poison. One, well, actually, they both take a very long time. One, during the summertime, which it is not now, you cover your entire bed in plastic and you let it sit for two months in the sun, hopefully baking them out of the soil. That has maybe a 60% um, effectiveness because they could always go down. The second one is my handy-dandy marigolds here. I'm going to grind them up. Put them in the soil over the winter time and then the area that you had the nematodes you grow marigolds across that whole area and you leave it in the ground for the entire season both are time consuming but there's not much else you can do and i'm pretty sure i got it in one of my 50 pound bags of potting soil that i made the mistake of getting and that's my own fault because i didn't have nematodes before and one other thing we have a visitor here is Mr. or Ms. Pretty, nice little praying mantis. This has, judging by the size, this has been in our garden bed for the entire summer, and I never noticed it until now. But it's always been in this marigold pile, so I will not remove the marigolds until the praying mantis is done with it. And notice the tarp we have back here that we just use because the temperatures are going down and I still have some peppers here that I want to see if I can get to fruition. Other than that we're doing really well. Um, still keep in mind the people that are hurt by the hurricane and if you can donate to a local area not the big corporations because oddly enough oddly enough it doesn't always seem to be going to them but if you can find a local church they would be happy to have food donations like that. And, you know, we are doing fine. So don't worry about us. And please like, share, and subscribe and come back soon.